good day. Today we're going to do a really quick hit video on, this happens to actually be a homework assignment in uh, the class, and so I don't want to go too far into it because, of course, it's a homework assignment. But I received uh, the drawing that's up on the right, excuse me, on the left-hand side of the screen, and uh, a little concerning, it looks like it was pretty much free-handed. On the right hand side of the screen is the actual uh, homework project. So there's obviously some question of uh, how to get started uh, because the layout is just not there and the structure is just not there. So this is a, an area that a lot of students struggle with is, well, how do I get started? You know, how, do, how does it work? So the biggest thing I can say is use, <clears throat> excuse me, use the center lines. The center lines are where we start all drawings. And so on this particular drawing environment, we'll use the center lines and create the center line positions for that to occur. Uh, and to get that started, you know, this happens to be a large scale drawing, and you know, it's a street. So even if we were doing something fairly small, we still need to use and set up a layer for center lines. And then you know, I took it upon myself to create a layer called street. So that way we've got uh, a couple of basic layers set up. And the center line layer uh, in the layer properties, we'll bring it over here so you can see it. So in the layer properties, you want to make sure that the line type that's loaded is also center lines. So you want to load the center line and select it to make sure that it's the center line. You're then able to uh, get started on the basics. Well, almost. Because if I draw a center line right now, and I want to draw a line, oh, let's say 80 feet, I get a red box that says it doesn't understand uh, that I typed in 80 feet. Well, the other thing you can notice is that I've got a line that's only 11.06 inches. So realistically, uh, what the student produced was basically a freehand sketch of what he thought would, you know, go forward, um, which is nowhere near close to the true size and shape and so forth. And you know, it ultimately, as I said, talks about we really need to uh, uh, set it up, set up the drawing properly. Well, the big setup process, and if you've watched the other videos, one of the big things to set up is units. And if you don't set up the units command, and in this case, we can either use architectural or we can use engineering units, um, you won't have. Um, the ability to uh, to make that drawing. So now if I draw a line and type in 80 feet, it's going to draw a line 80 feet. And you can see some other extra bonus lines. So again, let me expand this out so you can see. That was the original. And so now this line is 80 feet long. But the scale of the line type is really small. You can't see any of the dashes of the center line. So there's a command called line type scale, L-T-S-C-A-L-E, line type scale, L-T scale. And so if we set the L-T scale to 48, and 48 is a quarter inch equals a foot. Quarter inch goes into a foot 48 times. If it was an eighth inch equals a foot, it'd be 96 and so forth. So I'm going to type in 48 times. And you can see that we now have an appropriate dash uh, uh, line, dash line for a center line. So now, if we look at the drawing, let's expand this out even a little bit farther here. And so we, you know, we can see that it's 40 foot to the edge. Um, this one happens to be 84 foot straight up from that point, 
Then it goes over 57 feet and 57 foot up. Wow, that's a 45 degree angle. That's not hard to draw. And then it's 98 feet straight up from there. So if I were to lay something like this out, I'd pick a line, find the middle, shoot this first one up 84 feet, okay that's right that's what it was 84 foot and then I've got to do 57 feet well going back to your basic geometry we draw the line over 57 feet and then up 57 feet and what's the hypotenuse the hypotenuse is 45 degrees so there you go so then you start that layout process and then you use different tools uh, to create the uh, the drawing itself so the other issue comes in when we throw a dimension on this because if I've got a dimension from this point here to this point here uh oh I better change my layer I'll put the dimensions on layer 0 so if I put a dimension on what happens? Well, I can't see anything. Oh, wow, that's not good. We actually want a linear dimension and not a, an aligned dimension. But you can't see the dimension, and the dimension is actually in here somewhere. So we actually have to go into the dimension properties and set up a dimension scale. Remember, we had to change the line type scale for 48. We have to do the same thing with the dimension scale. So dimension properties is our next step. So the easy way to get to dimension properties is by hitting the annotation button right here and the second one is dimension style which is the dimension properties. So once we're in the dimension style manager we need to modify it. We have to change it. And we're gonna modify the not only the primary units because right now it's in decimal well we actually need architectural units so it's in feet and inches but we also need to change under the fit tab the overall scale factor remember we typed in 48 as the scale factor for the line type and that looks pretty good so we'll use the same scale factor for the dimension and again that scale factor comes from quarter inch equals a foot scale scaling overall so I choose OK and I choose close and you can see that the text is bigger but it's not exactly full size okay arrowheads look a little bit nicer but if I were to print that out that still may not show up as appropriately so 48 might be too small we may need to go up to 96 and if that was the case all you do is go under the dimension properties modify fit change it from 48 to 96 so instead of just doubling it, you could go up by increments of 12. So you could go to 60, to 72, to 84, to 96. So if you went to 72 and chose OK, arrowheads. And again, it's consistency. Everything stains the same scale. Notice that the gap has gotten larger at the end of those. So that's what we're talking about here is that you too can set up the dimensions and so forth for this. Okay, so this has been the quick hit setup video on getting started with architecturally or large scale drawings. Have a great day.